Another week has gone by and I still have not been able to take this hexacopter out to the field with Raspberry Pi and drone kit. Unfortunately, the past week in Austin has been very windy and wet. And even today I was unable to do a test flight of this takeoff and land script on Raspberry Pi. But in all reality, that is a good thing because a question that has come across a lot during this series is how do you actually invoke the Python script for Raspberry Pi? And initially I wanted to toggle it with my transmitter, but to be honest, I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. So what I'm gonna do in this video is demonstrate how to set this up to boot automatically and run the script so that when we power our hexacopter up, the script will be set to run and when everything passes the pre-arm checks and the safety switch has been toggled, our script can then run. I'll start by connecting to Raspberry Pi that is installed on the hexacopter. And as in a previous video, we'll just SSH to the IP address of Raspberry Pi, which is currently on my network. Now, it's not always safe to assume that you will have connectivity in the field. In the future, I would like to possibly connect an LTE module to Raspberry Pi to be able to have remote access while flying. But for now, we're going to uh, stick with just being connected while in the garage and then disconnected in the field. So if you recall, I had a Python directory with a test script called takeoff and land. And just to quickly review it again, it basically connects does some pre-arm checks, arms the motors, takes off to about 20 meters. You can see here, it'll hover for 10 seconds and then land. I know that this script works well with drone kit software in the loop simulator, and I've done just a preliminary test on the bench by manually invoking it. So this is what we need to do to have this auto start. What I'll do is I'll change to a root user and go to the root home directory you can see that I have this start takeoff script. And let me just show you what that looks like. It's a very basic script. What I'm telling it to do is sleep for 60 seconds, then change into the Pi directory. And inside of that is a Python directory. And that was the one I just showed you guys that has the takeoff and land script. Then we want to connect on dev serial zero. And as I mentioned, Several weeks ago, if you're running Raspbian and Jesse, they've changed the way you access the serial port. So that's dev serial zero. And that's all the script really does. The next thing we'll need to do is invoke this script when Raspberry Pi boots. I'm still currently logged in as the root user. So what I'll do is I'll look at my cron file and we can do that with cron tab space dash E, and you can see here, I have a reboot command. Normally use cron to schedule certain scripts to run at specific times. You can also use this reboot command to tell it to run this script when Pi is started up. You can see that I have the start takeoff script specified here. I just showed you guys that. That will invoke our Python drone kit script. And then I just do some basic logging so that if we need to troubleshoot anything, we can always look in that log because we're going to be in the field. We're not going to be connected to Pi. I guess we'll just keep our fingers crossed and hope that everything works well. That's all that needs to be done to get our drone kit script to run on boot. Let me describe what's going to happen quickly. Before I connect power to PixHawk and Raspberry Pi, I'll have 60 seconds to basically get everything ready. I'll go ahead and engage our safety switch. And then once we get a GPS fix, and all the pre-arm checks are done, you'll then hear everything automatically happen. The motors will arm. It won't take off, of course, because it's on the bench, but you'll hear it throttle up. Then I'll go back to the transmitter to take control, go to stabilize, and then disengage. So let me turn on my Tyrannus, and I'll go ahead and power up. Now what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and engage the safety switch. Now the motors are ready to arm and go. Now what happens is we have that sleep for 60 seconds in the script. Then it will execute our Python code, which uses the drone kit API to take off. And we'll have fully autonomous takeoff 
and landing with no user input. Once again, it's on the bench, so I will have to take over, but when we get to the field, we'll be able to demonstrate this in its entirety. And now while I wait, I'm currently connected to Raspberry Pi over the wireless network. I'll be able to see our script show up in the command list, and that will just give me some feedback. Now, once again, this won't be available to us in the field, but just for bench testing, I can make sure that everything is operating correctly. I can see our takeoff and land script in the list. And now you can hear the motors taking off and they'll continue to spin because they're waiting to get to a specific altitude. So I'll just go ahead and toggle into stabilize. That would allow me to take control if I needed to. And then just disarm. So that's a demonstration of how to initialize the drone kit script on Raspberry Pi to communicate with Pixhawk and do what we want it to do. In this case, we're gonna take off and land in an autonomous manner. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Thanks to all of you who posed that question. I ultimately wanna figure how we can initialize scripts from switches on our transmitter. That would be incredibly useful. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And hopefully next time I'll be able to demonstrate all of this in the field. Definitely looking forward to it. Thanks for watching.